It's really exciting to hear about the new Media Kids comic book that you've created in self-catheterization. Can you tell us a little bit about what it means to self-catheterize? So it's for children that can't empty their bladder normally. Mm -hmm. So they have to pop a little tube in, which is the catheter, drain the bladder, take it out, throw it away. Who would this be applicable for? What conditions mean that they need to self-catheterize? So it's for children's spina bifida, conditions where there may be congenital abnormalities, where the bladder just doesn't empty completely, and then they get risk of infections and, and can have further complications from that. We feel with children, it's something that they're not going to want to do, but they need to do. So attaching a superhero theme to this therapy gives a positive spin. And something that kids want to be involved in and be attracted to it rather than something they have to do um, and just to feel that positive spin on it rather than the negative spin of having to catheterize. So what are some of the obstacles that you have identified that, that a book like this will really help remedy? Well educational materials I think for children are especially important because it's not daunting only for the child but I'm sure for the parent or the caregiver um, equally if not more. So to be able to provide a resource that can help them feel at comfort and help them explain to their child in an appropriate way you know why they might need this medical treatment is really key. And so your strategy is quite unique in the fact that you're trying to invigorate. Right and the, the big thing almost is to make them feel comfortable but almost make them understand they can live in normal life. Life, not make a big deal out of it, but make them feel comfortable with it, that they can be just like other kids. It makes them special in a really positive way. Um, and I think using low free catheters, it's, like I said, it's something that kids don't want to do, but they have to do it. It's explained why they have to empty their bladder and what problems it can cause, like infections, if they don't. Mm. Um, and then it, on the spin of it, it's bringing them back down to doing something normal and going shopping, or doing something that they think they can't do, it's like Krista said, that is a normal activity. Um, so I just think it's such, such a positive spin, it makes you feel good to just read it. So tell us how, how will patients be able to get obtain a copy of these books for free? Well, we're just launching this year, so um, in, in the meantime we are visiting physicians' offices and prescribers' offices and trying to have it as a resource for their pediatric patients. Um, but we're also going to have a huge launch this summer at the Spina Bifida Association National Conference. Anaheim at Disneyland, so that should be extremely exciting to have the characters and really build excitement. It, it covers a whole range from whether you can read or just look at the pictures to whether it becomes only shipped to them. Prior to Medikids, we really had a gap, I think, in that area. Yeah, we had educational yeah. resources for the, the very young children and then the educational resources for the male and female, but more adults. So we really need something that um, pre-teen, adolescent, through those early teen years, um, and this can you know, be applicable for them as well.